Crypto traders are running for the exits this year as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are worth half of what they were six months ago. In fact, more than $1 trillion worth of the mysterious digital money has been wiped out since November. So why are people suddenly fleeing what was once the hottest trend in investing for the past two years? And is now the right time to invest in crypto? Stick around for the next three minutes as I explain a very complicated market in a very easy to follow video. Now's a great time to smash the subscribe button, by the way. You're awesome, thanks. The wild crypto boom really took off after March 2020 when the Fed ushered in a wave of easy money and interest rates were set to zero. This type of monetary policy supports credit, lending, and spending, which also boosts the price of assets. In this case, crypto was a new and exciting way for people to easily invest in the next big thing. The hotter crypto became, the more media attention, which in turn attracted more investors, causing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to rise even higher, and so on and so on. As long as interest rates remained at zero, there really was no other market where people were seemingly becoming millionaires overnight. I'm sitting in this bed, in the studio apartment, and I just became a millionaire right now. This is Glauber Contesoto. His claim to fame is that he went all in on a meme-based cryptocurrency called Dogecoin. And in 69 days, he went from a struggling music producer to a millionaire. Not even the stock market offered that kind of huge, massive gains like the crypto market. It attracted lots of money. If this sounds like a bubble, it was. Bitcoin is a speculative, uh, it's a speculative bubble, right? Its price is like a greater fool theory in terms of its price. And it has all the classic ingredients of a bubble, people leveraging themselves up, and it doesn't have the, that same intrinsic value. Asset bubbles burst when money begins to tighten, and that's exactly what is happening now in May of 2022. Investors are staring down interest rates rising and inflation raging, and they are responding by selling off risky assets. We see this in the stock market and even more pronounced in crypto. Other cracks in the crypto market were exposed when the stable coins Terra USD and Luna, which were supposed to be pegged to the US dollar, plummeted and were anything but stable. More on that in a moment, but first, do you see that like button? Go ahead and light it up for me, please, because it's the only way YouTube is going to push this video out for more people to see. Stable coins are supposed to be less volatile than other cryptocurrencies. In theory, one stable coin equals $1. That's how it's supposed to work. But a series of large withdrawals in May caused TerraUSD to lose its $1 peg, which caused the cascading effect of panic selling because people lost faith. It's no different than the old fashioned bank runs like the one portrayed in the classic movie, It's a Wonderful Life. You remember, George Bailey is about to go on his honeymoon when he sees the run on his savings and loan. He's forced to stick around in Bedford Falls and use his own money to keep the bank going. Don't look now, but there's something funny going on over there at the bank, George. I've never really seen one, but that's got all the earmarks of being a run. I love that movie. Anyway. Luna, which is a sister cryptocurrency to TerraUSD, was meant to act as a shock absorber or reserve currency to support TerraUSD. Luna also failed because people did not want Luna when they sold TerraUSD. They wanted actual US dollars instead. In the absence of faith, both TerraUSD and Luna lost their value, which is typical of a bank run and also of asset bubbles bursting. This kind of market instability has drawn the attention of Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen to call on Congress to regulate the crypto market. Which brings us to the question, is now the right time to invest in crypto? I won't recommend it for three reasons. First, the lack of regulation leaves too much room for scammers, hackers, and other bad actors that seek to take advantage of your hard-earned money. Second, it hasn't been around long enough for me to put my stamp of approval on it as a viable long-term investment. I prefer mature assets with proven histories, and I play the long game. I'm not interested in get-rich-quick schemes, and to me, the crypto market is too speculative. I'd say at this point, it's more like gambling than investing. Lastly, it's extremely complex and hard to understand, which is a red flag for investing. If you can't explain the investment easily, then perhaps you shouldn't put your money there. I mean, this is supposed to be currency, but I've never seen anyone using crypto to buy anything. Listen guys, I'm not hating on crypto or saying it won't one day become what the proponents say it will become. All I'm doing here is giving the facts and being objective so that I can help you be a better long-term investor. Again, if you appreciate this video, give it a like. 
And as always, I wanna help you guys out as much as I can, so here's my five easy investing rules. It's a completely free guide that I use before making any investment decision. Link in the show notes, make sure you get your copy. And if you do decide to opt in, you'll be automatically subscribed to my weekly newsletter where I'll send you my top dividend stock pick of the week. I analyze thousands of stocks to find the one that not only is going to pay you a great dividend, but I also make sure that the dividend is safe and the company is rock solid. And I'll do this for you every single week, absolutely free, no strings attached. Now watch my next video and I'll see you there.